In this video, we'll be going over a valid palindrome. So given a string, determine if it's a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. For the purpose of this problem, we define empty strings as valid palindrome. So let's go over a thought process. We can implement a two-pointer approach. One pointer i will be located on the left side, and then one pointer j will be located on the right side. In the, each of the iteration, we will be comparing the characters at the two pointers. There is There are a few side cases we need to handle. The first side case is we are ignoring cases. This means we can convert the input string to its lowercase form. This will allow us to compare characters in also lowercase form. The next side case, so the second side case is that we are only considering alphanumeric characters. This means we are skipping the characters that is not a digit and not a letter. Or we can say we are only considering characters that's digit or letter. Or we can say considering only digits and letters. Let's go over a pseudocode. So I'm going to create two variables to be our two pointers. So I, the left pointer, initially zero. And J, the right pointer, initially one. Ah, uh, not one, the end of the string. That's the length minus one. And then while I and J, while I is less than J. Before that, we're gonna set S to lowercase form. Okay, then we retrieve the characters C and D from the two pointers. If C is not alphanumeric, we are going to skip the current index. So we're going to increment I, and then we'll just continue to next iteration. If D is not alphanumeric, we're also going to skip. So we're going to decrement J, continue to the next iteration. And then if C is not equal to D, then it's not a valid palindrome, we're going to return false. Else, we're just going to increment i and decrement j. That means moving both of the pointers toward the center so, so we can compare the next pair. After we compare all the characters, we can return true. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input string. of n visit each character once using two pointer. Now space complexity is go to O of 1. Actually no, before that that's that's not it. First this actually another O of n because we are setting the input string to lowercase. So we're gonna set S to lowercase. That means we're generating another string. So that means our space complexity is also equal to O of n. It's the lowercase form of S. Because we're gen because strings are immutable and we generate another string. Okay. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create our two pointers, then set S to lowercase, and then compare all the characters. Compare our loop, 
retrieve our two characters C and D at the two pointers if, if C so we're going to create a method called alpha numeric if C is not alpha numeric so then we're going to skip it increment I and continue next iteration if B is not alpha numeric then we're going to skip it too continue the next iteration then if C is not equal to D then we just say return false also under increments uh, move both pointers toward the center then we're going to return true now let's create a method to check if the character is alpha numeric or not so return character is letter so check if this character is letter or if the character is a digit let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below